All right, we are here again this week. We are here for a Modern Masters draft. I've drafted this a couple of times. Uh, I started out with the Phantoms, but last night I did two. Uh, I did a four three two two on a Swiss, just because that was what was most full at the time. And uh, we're trying to figure it out. Um, definitely feel more confident after last night than I did after the first couple times, because uh, I've kind of at least seen some of what the archetypes are. Um, I tend to go. Ideally, two colors. Uh, last night I went barely more than one, uh, which was pretty nice. Uh, let's see what we got here. Um, right, let's go ahead and pull out the card uh, window as well. Okay, so that lets you pull out some big things out of your opponent's deck. Plus, you can get that uh, on the cheap. Um, I really like Trigon Predator, um, although that requires this be two specific colors. Um, Dream Spoiler Witches is uh, part of the fairy deck. Um, it is a very, very important part of the fairy deck. Um, it is very... Uh, it does seem kind of overdrafted right now, so that's a bit of a concern. However, we could always grab that since nothing else seems too strong right now and see where it goes. Uh, Trigon Predator might be the most powerful card. Uh, Earwig Squad's not bad. Uh, it's also good because a lot of the fairies happen to be rogues. Um, let me think. Let's take the Trigon Predator. I really like it, and uh, maybe we can go in a fun direction. Alright, Executioner's Capsule is a removal. Um, it's basically a Doom Blade. Uh, Ethereum Sculptor is really good in the Artifact deck. Uh, Raven's Crime is just good value uh, in any deck that can cast it. Um, Wrathy Trappers is a decent tapper. Uh, Pepper Smoke is very good in the uh, Fairy deck. Reach of Branches is okay. Um, it kind of feels like there's a lot of overlap between that and some of the green-blue... Uh, Or, sorry, some of the green big guys, like Walker of the Grove, is also similar, like, value guy. Um, Mask of Myros is similarly green value card. Um, could always do, like, Trigon Predator in a uh, deck with Ethereum Sculptor. That would be weird. Um, hmm, not really sure where to go. Okay. Executioner Capsules Removal. Removal Splashable. It might be worth it anyway. Okay, I'm kind of a fan of uh, Auntie Snitch. Uh, Raven's Crime is still good. Sporloth Ancient is uh, quite good. Uh, five for a four-four that makes uh, one ones. Um, still a bit early to be sure of what exactly is open. Seen a bunch of Reach of Branches. Uh, not seen a ton of Blue being passed to me, which may or may not mean a ton. Um, could definitely go with the black to go with our removal. Um, or the Sporloth Ancient. Let's try the... I feel like I'm seeing a lot of black. Let's tr see where it goes for a minute. This Pyromancer's, Pyromancer's Swath is okay, but it's not... Uh, necessarily uh, you know, it doesn't necessarily work with what we've got um, Grinning Ignis goes with stormy stuff the changelings I've seen be very very good um, anything that's a changeling and anything that's a suspend tends to be very very good um, black red tends to have goblins in it Still not seeing enough to be entirely sure where I should be. The Dusk Walker's good. And it goes with the Trigon Predator. Yeah, I'm a little tempted to take the Changeling, but I think I'll just take the card that is best that is in one of the colors we are. Okay. Mass Admirers is very good. Last night I was in a draft where I was almost mono green, and I ended up having uh, four of these, one of which was foil. Um, it's just very good. I'm going to try it. Maybe we'll end up in some kind of green deck. C 
could also consider some kind of green-based multicolored deck and just take the best cards from everything. Um, this is another good card in the fairy deck, but it's not feeling like blue is very open, uh, though logic not as good. This is kind of an overrun. Um, Test of Courage is also very good, uh, since green tends not to have much removal, it helps fill that role very well. But Trap the Domains could be, could have a very important result, so let's uh, see. Maybe we could end up green-black. Hmm. With this, we'd need some kind of uh, self-mill, which green-black does have. Not sure. Uh, Pepper Smoke is good if we have fairies. Uh, we don't yet, but we could. Uh, could do Raven's Crab. I guess Worm Harvest works with uh, the most decks, although it doesn't help our curve much, because I guess this is a low drop, so actually this isn't terrible. Let's see Worm Harvest. I'd like to see it in action. Uh, I've grabbed it before, but I haven't really gotten to mess with it much. Um, like I was saying, if we did Worm Harvest, we want Dredge. Um, Tutu Flyer is fine, but I think... Uh, Dredge could be... Dredge is very powerful, so we'll see. Uh, Chris and Grip is very, very good. Um, last night, I finished the finals by sideboarding in t a couple of Chris and Grips and a Trigon Predator against the Artifact deck, and there was just not much my opponent could do. However, I think I'm going to take the Thal Germinator just to have more low-drop creatures. Uh, definitely kind of lacking some. Yeah, this green-black deck is kind of interesting, actually. Uh, Raven's Crime lets you discard lands to uh, do an effect, and that works well with Worm Harvest. So we'll continue seeing where this goes. Uh, Reach of Branches and Walker of the Grove are both fine, but again, they're big green guys, so meh. All right, Raven's Crime versus Thalid. Versus Reach of Branches. Alright, let's try Raven's Crime. I really like Retrace cards as well. Right. Walk of the Grove is most likely to make it in the deck. I think Nargomeva might be most likely to be worth money, but I'm not sure. Alright, getting some Light Thalids. Green looks more open than Black does, but we could always cut Black if we needed to, or just splash it for the ex Executioner's Capsule. Um, Auntie Snitch is not looking very good in this deck because it's a... Uh, Wow, that's a really late spell starter sprite. Um, I don't think I'm gonna run Siphon Life, so I'm gonna grab the spell starter sprite. You never know. All right, uh, I've run Wood Readers before. It lets you uh, draw some cards, although it's awfully expensive to do so. Um, Academy Ruins is worth a little bit of money. Eternal Witness is a, just a very, very good card. Um, so I'm probably gonna take that. Feud Killer's Verdict is a pretty good card uh, if we ended up going a bunch of colors. Fairy Macabre is pretty good. Uh, Rift Bolt is good, but it's nowhere near what we're doing. So yeah, I'll take Eternal Witness and be pretty happy about that. Okay, Rift Wing Clouds Gate is pretty good if we tried to run the Trigon Predator. We would be in the colors for it. Um, Kadama's Reach is a good way to uh, ramp up our mana, which it looks like this deck is going to want. Um, Moss Dog is, again, back to the uh, Dredge plane, which is interesting. And so is uh, Worm Harvest. Hopefully we'll get one of those back, or Warren Weirding, um, which is some removal. But I think right now it's important that we get some ramp. Although we have to watch the number of uh, three drops we have. Imperiosaur is very good. It's just a four four. Oh, sorry, a uh, five five for four. Um, Echoing Cor Courage again, good. Uh, Worn Weirding is nice because it uh, is removal. It's kind of an edict. Um, it's bad against the Goblin deck, but there's not that much of that. Um, but I think I'll take an Imperiosaur. It's hard to argue with five fives for four. Um, Moldervine Cloak is super super good. Uh, and G Giant Dusk Wasp is also very good. Uh, Moldervine Cloak, I was really impressed with the power when I saw last night. Um, 
Again, we're going to watch out on our number threes. Um, Auntie Cinch, I could probably go ahead and hide, but I'll hold off a bit. A uh, 3 1 for 3 isn't great if it can't block. If it could block, I could say, you know, it holds off the opponent's army, but it really doesn't. Okay. Time to go ahead and take one of these two drops that I keep talking about. Um, I keep saying I like Echo and Courage because it's very much like removal, but Warren Weirding is removal. Um, the downside is if they have creatures, you know, that are all types, or if they happen to actually have goblins, it's a problem. Um, other snipes also good uh, if we wanted to do multicolor, but we haven't seen as much ramp as I would like. Uh, there's a suspend ramp card that would be nice if we we're doing that. Um, Amrail Scout is very, very good, by the way. Um, I'm not taking it, but it's worth mentioning. You know, we're way more green than black. I'm going to go ahead and take Echo and Courage. Uh, we're going to have so many creatures that I feel like it's likely to be good. Plus, it's very good with Thalids because they uh, create a bunch of Sapperlings, and then you can just buff the Sapperlings. Or the uh, Worms, in this case, maybe. This is very, very good in the Goblin deck. Um, again, this card is fine. Drag Down is quite good because it's, if nothing else, it can kill a lot of cards that not a million other cards can, and is very good against fairies. However, Search for Tomorrow is the ramp spell that I was mentioning. Um, what do we think? Drag Down or Search for Tomorrow? Let's go ahead and take the search for tomorrow. That can let us, uh, now that we've got a couple of uh, green search cards, we it opens us up to ramp, uh, to, sorry, uh, to splashing more. Plus we can ramp to some bigger stuff. Uh, again, I'll probably take it Imperious Sword, although Manamorphose lets us also splash a lot of things and it's mostly green. Um, plus it's kind of a free roll because it lets you uh, Draw a card. Imperiosaur and Moldervine Cloak are both super good, though. Uh, Electrolyze is an awful lot of splashing, so it's hard to support it. Um, I think I'm just going to go ahead and take Imperiosaur. Uh, I feel like we're going to win by just dealing damage. Okay, I really like Squee. Uh, Squee's not worth anything, is he? I'm going to go ahead and check. Um, really, Thalid's probably the best for us. Um, it's perfectly fine. It's better than it sounds. Uh, I could splash Mycoderm, um, would also be reasonable, but it's a decent, easy to cast card, so let's go ahead and take that. Um, Fairy Macabre is, again, fine if we're, uh, staying black. Uh, we don't have a ton of black outside of these three, so we should definitely keep our options open. Um, it could be worth taking Spell Starter Sprite, um, seeing if we end up that way. Uh, Death Denied is fine. Uh, again, Fairy Macabre is fine, but it's a little bit harder to cast. Uh, Oh, I tried to change it over at the last minute, but could not. Oh, actually, Riftwing Cloudskate. That's super, super late. Uh, Moss Dog is good. Um, someone else took the Worm Harvest, which I believe was in this pack. Hmm. Let's just take the Moss Dog as... Amazing as Cloudskate is, uh, we know we're green. Again, I did very well with a mostly green deck last night, so it's hard to argue with. Uh, Ezra Snipe is very good. We could certainly splash it here. Um, it would be a pretty easy splash. Tell you what, let's go ahead and grab that. Um, I've got enough ramp that I wouldn't mind uh, having that as an option. 
the uh, Dust Wasp is Dust Wasp is just a very very easy pick because it's essentially a two drop that deals with a lot of things that green isn't good at. Um, green flying creatures are few, far between, and important. Probably able to hide these wood readers. Uh, it's worth mentioning that the uh, Eternal Witness that we ended up with is extra good if we are uh, using Mulder Vine Cloak and such to um, dredge things into our graveyard. Alright. Death Rattle is good. Um, again, if we're black or even. If we're only splashing black, it's still worth it. Um, I believe that I, I believe that uh, Chalice of the Void is worth some money. Um, two bucks. Um, Aaron Ephemeron is good if we ended up in those colors, as is Ether Snipe still. Um, Thalid's fine. Um, Deep Cavern Imp is not great. Uh, okay, so we're looking mostly at. Death Rattle. Maybe other time. Okay, let's go ahead and take Death Rattle because it's pretty splashable, it's removal, and we could easily just be those three colors if we needed. A Bone Splitter is good in most decks. Um, again, anything with Suspend is quite good. Uh, we've got a million creatures. I think that the green deck actually really wants Bone Splitter. Uh, Wrathy Trapper is good. It lets you tap stuff. Um, and Cloud Goat Ranger is very good, but it's a bit late to splash for double colored. Um, so as good as the Baloth is, I think I'm taking this. Okay. Sporsaur Thalid is awesome. It's a 4-4-4 four, 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 four that also makes 1-1s. One, um, Trigon Predator is still very good. Uh, we could easily be... Uh, blue. Uh, however, Dust Wasp is very good. Uh, Ephemeron is better than Dust Wasp. Because um, we're almost always suspending Ephemeron. Um, but I don't think these options are as good as the 4-4-4. Four, 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 four. Um, especially because generating 1-1s one is very good with Bone Splitter, it's good with Trump the Domains, and it's good with... Uh, Echo and Courage. So we'll go ahead and take the that one. All right, could take another Death Rattle. Um, probably better than an Echo and Courage. We could have about a million spell starters price, which would be a pretty fun deck, but it's a bit silly, and we're gonna keep taking the removal spells. Uh, these things get rid of cards in your graveyard. We may have extra cards in the graveyard because of uh, dredging. Uh, though we don't have that many dredge cards, so it's worth keeping uh, in mind. Return an arcane card. Do we have... that's not arcane. Search tomorrow is not. Echo and Courage is not. Yeah, so that's basically nothing to us. Festering Goblin is fine. Changeling is fine. No, none of those are really things that we want to uh, splash for. Uh, this kind of lets us dig through our deck. Uh, it's to like... Oh. Okay, we got the pedals. Uh, not positive which is better there. Um, careful consideration is very, very good. It's basically draw four, discard two. Um, however, it's a bit hard to cast. Um, if we suspend this for four, we get to draw a card and get a three, two. Um, notably, that is very similar to Masked Admirers, except it comes in right away. Um, the benefit of this is that you can cast it without paying the extra mana if you want. And this comes back from the graveyard. So, it would be very good to have more low drops in our deck. Uh, it's worth one of the others. I hate to say it, but I think we just want two drops uh, just to get something going. Okay, so we've got two drop versus moss dog. Uh, how many moss dogs do we have? Two. 
2 is probably pretty good. Uh, the Shell Dwellers, uh, again, can help hold, keep us alive. Uh, one concern that we have, we don't have much against flying, um, which, like the uh, fairy deck, could be a problem. So, might want to consider something like this just to block flying creatures. Uh, although, Mostog is still very good. Yeah, I'll go ahead. And, uh, we don't really need more Moss Dogs, so I'll go ahead and take it. Uh, Other Snipe might be worth splashing. Um, Thalid is good. Hmm. Question is, how late game are we? Um, I think I'd rather fill in our early curve. We've got some decent options for late game stuff, uh, so that's probably okay. Thirst for Knowledge is more splashable. Um, we don't have more than one artifact, which we probably not want to discard, but it is still an option. Thieving Sprite is good with fairies. Uh, we already have a couple of retrace cards. Um, War Spike Changeling is actually really good. But probably not worth splashing, and I don't really like cutting things uh, randomly. Right, Spell Star Sprite. Uh, we've cut a lot of them, at least. We don't have to worry about them as much, though there's kind of a million of them in the draft. None of these cards are too scary to me. Uh, and Tuko Shaman is good. Uh, Dismissor's fine if we're ramping to it. Uh, it's better if we have cards that let us flicker. Wow, we are getting last pick Moss Dogs. Uh, green is very open. Again, we could feasibly go mono green if we wanted. Uh, seems like this is just underdrafted. Uh, I think we're going to splash our black removal. Um, may not splash uh, the other snipe and predator. But we shall see where we end up. I'm not positive about the wood reader, so I'll leave them here for now. Moldervine Cloak's definitely in. Uh, Shaman's probably okay. We'll see. Uh, Germinators are good. Eternal Witness for sure. Most dogs, I'm not sure what the right number is. Massive Myers is definitely in. Thalid's good. These are good. Uh, Trump the Domains is much better if we do end up three color. That is worth noting. Okay, so yeah. This would be our mono green deck if we ended up trying to do that. Um, it's very unlikely because these uh, removal spells are good. But... That said, Raven's Crime requires swamps, and we aren't going to have that many swamps. So, we'll see about that. Okay, first let's move these. Uh, our suspend creatures are definitely going to come in. You know, we're almost always going to suspend them, so we can pretty much assume that these cards are uh, for the minimal cost. Sorry, cat decided to claw me for a second. Um, okay, Trump the Domains is not great if we're... Uh, not running too many colors. I don't think that green-black is much of a thing in Modern Masters. Uh, it's just, you know, removal's good. Is it worth a 4-4 uh, four, four for 5? Um, we could theoretically get to 8 mana, but our deck is kind of aggressive. I guess it is less aggressive than the one I had yesterday. There's an awful lot of 4 drops, so it's not super, super aggressive or anything. We'll have to decide about the Moldervine. It's not Moldervine. Uh, Kodama's Reach. Kodama's Reach actually isn't great, because we're not really ramping to five. Uh, it lets us get swamps, but we can just play extra swamps, because we don't have 
I guess uh, Eternal Witness is the hardest thing to cast. Those in like Thalids, but we can easily go like 11, 6, or uh, 12, 5 or something and be okay on mana. So we want to make at least two more cuts. One Moss Dog could probably be cut. Uh, not sure about the Shaman. Because that's kind of a four drop. Yeah, I think we cut Nantuko Shaman. Um, I do like Masked Mars because uh, we can get it back from the graveyard, which is particularly good if we're dredging at all, which we hope to be. I do wish I got more Echoing Courages, but that's okay. Um, I had the options that just never felt good enough. Um, Worm Harvest we could probably cut. Uh, if we were running our Raven's Crimes, I would have an easy time saying we wanted to uh, run 18 or more lands. Okay, I'm probably going to cut a Moss Dog. Uh, I think I like Imperiosaur and Mastered Mire over it, um, as well as Thalid, and we just don't need that many 4-drops. So. Okay, uh, that looks like a decent deck. It's maybe not perfect, but we'll see. Um, I think... 12-5 is fine. Uh, 12 lanes is generally good enough to get uh, one or two uh, relatively early. And we want to be able to cast these at some point. And the Delph, remember, we can exile cards from our graveyard to get it, so it uh, is likely to be castable much lower than uh, 6. Uh, it's not as good as like Doomblade because it has other requirements, but we will go ahead and submit it with this. Uh, I could see against the right deck, which would probably be an artifact deck, just going blue-green, dropping in three sprites and predators, and uh, the... I thought I got the split-second uh, disenchant. Maybe I did not. No, nope, I guess I had to pass it. Oh yeah, I, I talked about it, but I didn't actually get it. Okay, so... This looks like it's going to be our deck. Um, last minute, anything. Uh, we do have one retrace and three dredge cards. That's okay. Um, we did not get the dredge imp, which would have been very, very nice, because uh, it's got death touch, so it's kind of like removal that you can just get back every single turn. Um, so I'm sad that we don't have that. I'm going to look through here one last time, just to be sure. Uh, don't have much in play of rogues or goblins. Weirding could be okay, but I don't ever want to have that against a gob a deck that has goblins or uh, the shapeshiftery things. So I could see running one raven, ra one raven's crime, maybe over another four drop. Uh, I could see that being correct. Um, in the late game, it can very it can be very very good to be able to uh, drop some of your lands to cast it. But again, we do have Worm Card Harvest to cast in that way, so we will be able to stop playing lands uh, off in around five since these can be reduced. Um, yeah, that looks alright. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, pause the recording.